If you have just joined us, welcome to Central News. A local business guide and review site launched around the world has made its way to New Zealand and we caught up with the Vice President to find out more. First of all, what is Yelp? Well, Yelp is a website and a mobile app that lets you find great businesses in 20 countries and starting tomorrow, 21 because we'll be adding New Zealand. And so if you're looking for a salon, a plumber, a bakery, a place to get your nails done or um, somewhere to uh, fix your shoes, you can find uh, reviews about all of those things and a lot more on Yelp. And what have been the reviews so far? Uh, well, you know, we have reviews uh, sort of all over the place, um, you know, from Austria to France to the US and Canada and even uh, your neighbors in Australia. Um, and they really range the whole gamut um, in terms of, you know, you could find kind of anything you're looking for. Uh, if you, you know, want to buy a new puppy or you want to get that same puppy uh, obedience trained, you can find reviews on that. So how do businesses enter their data? Sure. So most of the businesses' data, especially uh, here in Auckland, will already be uh, available on the site. So basically we will buy a third-party database, and that database will supply us with all of the businesses in the entire country of New Zealand. And so if you go uh, as a business owner onto yelp.co.nz tomorrow morning and you see your business there, you can simply click on a little link that says, is this your business? And you can claim the business, uh, basically verifying for us that you are indeed the owner so, um, or the manager. And then from there, you can uh, take advantage of our free business owner tools. So you can make sure that your hours of operation and website and address are correct. You can add photos and tell us a little bit about your business, the history, and, and all of those sorts of things. Now, if you find that your business isn't already in Yelp, you can simply add it. And uh, Yelpers can add it, so people who are writing reviews um, and reading reviews can add it. Business owners can add it. Really, anyone can add um, any business with an address. Because Yelpers is quite a key term that I've seen on some American sitcoms and that kind of thing. Is, is it basically blogging? Yelpers are really people that are using Yelp. So you can be a Yelper starting tomorrow. Um, so it's anyone that's writing reviews, reading reviews, using Yelp to uh, find something great in their neighborhood. And some people write bad things? That certainly can happen. So we have a star range uh, rating goes from one to five stars. One star being the worst and five star being the best. And so I'm sure in your regular life you probably know that not everything can be five stars. And very rarely you probably encounter the, the odd one star. Um, and of course those make for better television. So when I go onto Yelp, is there a search bar that I can enter my, what I'm looking for? Yeah, absolutely. So log on to yelp.co.nz and then uh, search for anything you like. So maybe you want a blow wave because you're having a really big date or maybe you um, have to buy a, a baby onesie because you're going to a baby shower or um, maybe you want to book a hotel room. You can find uh, reviews about all of it there. So when you log on, um, you'll see a search bar pretty prominent at the top and then you'll enter in um, what the search is and where you want it. So if you want to search in, uh, in Hamilton and Waikato, uh, you know, Auckland, you name it, um, it will be available. What benefits do you think this could bring to the New Zealand tourism industry? You know, I think that um, people are already thinking about New Zealand as a place to come for uh, adventure tourism and the like from other countries. I think what might be great um, about Yelp coming to New Zealand is having more people in the local area actually traveling within their country. So rather than just staying home at the weekend, watching Game of Thrones and having some Chinese takeout, you might decide, let's go away for the weekend, maybe to a place that's two or three hours away that I read about on Yelp. I heard that there's a great uh, cottage or some uh, you know, opportunities for Glamping, glamour camping. Um, you never know. I think it opens up a lot of possibilities for people um, just in their local area. I have to ask, what does Yelp stand for? It doesn't stand for anything. It's actually the noise that a dog makes when you step on its tail. And we have a sort of unofficial mascot, and that's our CEO and co-founder, Jeremy Stoppelman's dog, Darwin. And uh, he was a puppy when the site was founded back in 2004 in San Francisco. And I, I'm not so sure about this, but I think someone might have stepped on its tail. Tell us about the mobile app. Yeah, so we have Yelp available for uh, the BlackBerry, iPhone, Android-enabled devices, iPad. What's really great about it is, let's say you're just out with some friends um, having a drink and you decide that you really need some tacos. Or um, if you don't get a chicken tikka masala, your, um, your night is not going to be complete. So you just whip out your uh, mobile phone, um, open up the Yelp app, and it'll tell you all the best rated places right near you. So if you're wearing a pair of really high heels, you won't have to walk very far to get your dinner. 
there been any challenges in the development of the site? Well, I think um, one of the big challenges is always making sure that um, people take the site on as their own. So when the site opens tomorrow, um, you know, there will be some content there, but not uh, loads and loads. It will really be up to the people of New Zealand to take it on as their own and start writing about their favorite bakeries and mechanics and toy shops. So what's your role at Yelp? Well, I'm the vice president of New Market, so I head up our international expansion all over the world, um, you know, from uh, New Zealand and Australia and Singapore uh, to France and Germany and the Netherlands, and a whole lot of places in between, since we're now in 20 countries, 21 starting tomorrow. Well, what's been some of the feedback from those countries? I think, you know, we hear a lot of people saying um, that they like the opportunity to give their opinions. In some markets, uh, they're more ready to admit that they like to give their opinions, but what we found is whether they tell us that they're not the type of people to give their opinions or they are people with lots of opinions, it's pretty universal that everyone likes to make sure that they can avoid a bad slice of pizza and get a really great ice cream cone. That is the news for today. We really want you to be involved, so like us on Facebook and let us know your views. If you have any news, including your own video and photos, go to our website and hit upload. Thanks for joining us. I will be back tomorrow with more guests from in and around the regions. I'm Amy Forrest. Have a lovely evening. This has been an Alpha Media production, a division of Television Media Group. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.